Hi, this is Anna Skye, and today I wanted to show you my new three-piece florid scroll invitation template. And the one I'm showing today is the magenta and black, but this design is actually available in a couple other colors on downloadandprint.com. And when you open it up in Microsoft Word, this is how it looks. And what you'll notice is that on one sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper, you actually get the invitation, which will trim down to 5 by 7 and two enclosure cards, one you can use for your RSVP and one you can use for, say, hotel or driving direction type information. And so you can get all that on one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper, which will help save you money if you're, say, printing these out at Kinko's and things like that. So one color copy equals one invitation set. So one of the things that you'll notice right away when you open up the template, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in here, is that it looks like the pink text and the actual artwork are slightly different colors. And actually, they are the same color. When you print them out, these pinks will match. But in Microsoft Word, all of the artwork is on a lower layer and the text is on a top layer. And to show that, Word is graying out the artwork just slightly to show that it's on a lower layer and you can't click and move the artwork around. So just know that these will match when you print them out. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do is customize this text. And it's just like any other Word document, you just click and you type in your information. And so I can change that name to Heather. I can change the, the date to March. I can even rewrite this whole paragraph to suit my event. The other thing you can do is change the colors. So you just highlight, say I wanna change the names to all be black. You go up to the Home tab, and this drops down the color menu, and you can pick black from there. I don't think I selected it, there we go. And you can also change the font. So if you don't like the Brickham font, you can pick any font. So I can change it here to Anna Diane Kimberg, and that's a little too big for that space, so I can shrink it down and there you can see I've kind of changed the look and made it my own there. The other thing with these text boxes is you can resize them. So let's say you have a little bit more text than this, you can actually move them and then resize them like so. So that gives you a little more space in there. The other thing you can do is you could move these text boxes. So let's say you wanted this bottom card to be your reply card. You can actually click and drag this text box down and swap them like so. So now I have this as my reply card and this as my ceremony reception card. And you can again resize this text box any way you need to fit the information. And you can also highlight the text and change it from center to left or right like that. The other thing you'll notice is that there's these dotted lines. And what those are, those are actually the trim lines that you'll use to cut it down. And so that kind of tells you where the invitation starts and stops. So you don't have to worry about the logo or the copyright information being on your final invitation that you send to your guests because that's all gonna get lopped off. But it's also good to kind of keep those in mind when you're moving your text boxes around because you want a little bit of space uh, between your text and the edge of the card. So I hope you find this template easy to use and that this tutorial gives you a better idea of how the templates work and how they can be customized. If you have any additional questions, feel free to shoot me an email. My contact information is at Download and Print. Again, this is Anna Sky, and enjoy and make sure to send me what you've done with this template if you do use it for your wedding. Have a great day. Bye-bye.